Hello, this is Eurocom and today we're going to cover how to apply thermal paste to your new video card. Today we have a 2 gig AMD HD 7970 as our model and we're also using IC Diamond thermal paste. This provides top of the line results and is provided in all of our upgrade kits. Before you begin any work handling any electronics or opening up your system You'll need to have an ESD wrist strap connected to a ground and an anti-static ESD mat like this one. When applying the thermal paste, you want to make sure you don't use too much or too little. Too little, you don't get enough thermal transmission. Too much also gets in the way. So you need to have a, a good balance, good coverage without having too much paste. So we'll zoom in on that. So that line of paste, after we have a heat sink applied to it, will give you some fairly even coverage. So let's just press a heat sink on there. Now normally this gets screwed down into a system. This is just for demonstration to show the kind of coverage you can expect when you properly apply your thermal paste. Okay, so we'll remove the heat sink. So looking at the GPU die, you can see we have nearly complete coverage. You can see that there's paste over on both the heat sink and the GPU die. Now with thermal paste there's a break-in period and this can vary between two hours to 200 hours depending on the thermal paste that you're using and this is the time it takes for the thermal paste to fully set and become most thermally efficient. The thermal paste in this case only takes a few hours, it takes effect pretty quickly um, and during that time it will spread out and be a little more fluid under higher temperatures so those little corners there that we missed will get covered no problem. So that, uh, that about concludes how to properly apply thermal paste. Um, we'll show you a few samples of what not to do coming up next. Alright, here we are again with our 7970. We've cleaned it off so I'll show you what it's like when you apply too much thermal paste. So when you have too much paste, you can see that's a fairly large chunk of paste there. When you apply your heat sink, you'll find that it oozes over the die and it's too thick. There, so you can see it's going over the edges of the die and there's very uneven chunks. You can see that there's a very large section there and there's some patchier sections around. And then once that heats up during the break-in period and spreads around more, it's going to go over the edge of the die and it's not going to be an effective way to cool your video card. Next we'll show you what too little paste is like. Alright, and one more time, here we are again with our AMD HD7970. I'm going to show you what too little thermal paste application looks like and why it's insufficient for cooling your video card. So we'll just apply just a little bit there, so it's not very much at all. And when heat sink is compressed on it, so you can see that while it did spread out evenly in a circular pattern, it's not covering the entire die, which means you're only getting thermal exchange over part of the GPU die. Ideally you want full coverage but you want it to be about about that thick just covering the whole die to get optimal thermal transmission. 
these are 100 watt video cards so they can be fairly demanding especially if you have a system that can use two of them at once so that can be a lot of heat and a lot of power so it's really important that you apply your thermal paste correctly if uh, if you don't do it right the first time that's all right you can just clean off your heat sink um, with an anti-static cloth and clean off your GPU and try it again until you get it right the tubes we provide are one and a half gram tubes so that's enough for several applications in case you don't get it right the first time um, if you want to know more and see what upgrade kits we have available check out Eurocom.com and check out our upgrade center thanks for watching